really not cheap. <laughs> Definitely take public transit, college discounts you can get online for things. There's a lot of really great free things to do if you live in a city, but I would say like let yourself indulge in a few things. Hey everyone, it's Darcy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is by request. I asked for requests on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram because I often will ask for that. Um, yeah, basically I got a request to do a budgeting and college video, which given I live in New York, I feel like it's a fitting thing to talk about. New York is very expensive. So I have always been a pretty like savvy money person. I think I am pretty good at saving my money and like not just like spending it all at once and making rash decisions with my money so I sat down and thought about some different um, pieces of advice I have for if you're in college if you're trying to save money um, that kind of thing because my family is certainly a little bit tight on money right now given NYU is so expensive so hopefully this can help some of you out if you're interested in moving to New York or just saving money in college in general I think the smartest thing I ever did, not ever, but in terms of money was I got a job when I started my freshman year of college and then I worked pretty much like through when I moved to New York. So I, I worked like for a year and a half and saved a lot of money just because I needed something to do. I wanted the extra income, but I didn't just like spend it all. I ended up saving it because I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing in the future, so can't hurt to save some money, right? Um, so I think my best advice is if you have the time in high school to get a job or if you have the time in college, get a job. Obviously that's going to help with money um, and doing something that maybe can help you career-wise is always good or just getting like an easy retail job. I also did that. Um, anything that can give you some extra income obviously will be good and then make a conscious effort to put some of it in your savings account. I think that's a tip a lot of people say um, because then you're not going to just tap into that and you've already reserved part of it before you spend your paycheck. So that's like definitely a big tip that I have. Um, but then also let yourself spend part of it because then you feel like a reward, um, like that instant gratification of getting your paycheck. Um, I think it's nice to at least spend a little bit on yourself. Then it kind of like motivates you to keep earning money and to keep up with your job. So it was because I had that job, or two jobs actually, one at home and one in school, um, that I was able to like have money to move to New York and then I've kind of lived off of that for the last year. Um, which I wouldn't really recommend like I wish I had income here um, definitely because New York is expensive I wish I had a job <laughs> but unfortunately I have had to do a lot of unpaid work to hopefully get a better job in the future so I would not recommend that unpaid internships should not be allowed ever they should not be a thing but tangent that's like a, no a whole other rant uh, basically because I had money saved up though I've been able to survive in New York and very fortunate that my parents can support Support me so mom and dad if you're watching this thank you <laughs> and yeah but if you know you don't have the financial means obviously you know get a job and don't take that internship <laughs> And then because I don't have a steady income right now, I think I've figured out some pretty good money saving tips, figuring out what to spend more money on, what not to. So my first big tip, especially living in a place like New York, is to grocery shop. A lot of people like to spend a lot of money on food, which is obviously like fun and you know it's fun to go out and get food, but I would say limit that as much as you can. Uh, maybe do it like once or twice a week. It can be fun to go out with friends, that kind of thing. Um, but grocery shopping is such a good way to get your food. I usually shop at Trader Joe's because it's like really inexpensive and they have good quality stuff. Um, and so I can spend like, I don't even know, like 20 to $60 a week, but that's like so much cheaper than eating out because I get a lot of meals out of that. Um, so I would definitely say like eat breakfast at home, pack a lunch, um, come home for dinner. That's like, I think the easiest way to like go about it in college. If also like saving money by not being on a meal plan, I was able to opt out of the NYU meal plan, which was kind of a big hassle because I'm in on campus housing, but um, it, worth, it was worth it because I'm saving my parents a lot of money by like not spending thousands of dollars on the NYU meal plan for food that is awful. Um, so if you're a freshman you probably can't do that but um, in the future I think that's a really good way to go. Grocery shop for yourself and then save some money on that meal plan. So. And it also helps like with getting your independence and like figuring out what it's like to um, grocery shop and cook for yourself. So. Um, another big tip I have is to thrift. I love that thrifting's in. I used to like not be a fan of wearing like 
hand-me-down clothes and that kind of thing but thrifting's fun because you get to go shopping still but then it's more economical because it's cheaper but then it's also better for the environment because you're reusing stuff so i'm a huge advocate of thrifting um some of my absolute favorite pieces in my closet are thrifted i recently got two really nice coats that were like one was twenty dollars one was forty dollars and full price it probably would have been like 200 so thrifting is a great way to go also you can find great jeans thrifting great sweaters just um, I found these amazing pair of overalls for like 10 bucks. It's great. Um, and so then maybe like spice up your wardrobe with a few more expensive pieces or invest in a good pair of shoes, that kind of thing. But I would just say like really take care of your clothing, you know, resew a button, you know, fix it up or like get your shoes resold instead of buying a whole new pair, like stuff like that. Um, and then obviously like thrifting. I often use Pinterest to get inspiration for things like style-wise that I want to wear and then I'll go thrifting looking for specific pieces as opposed to just like buying on Urban Outfitters for way more money even though it can be fun to buy a few things but if you're gonna spend more money on something I think it's better to spend more money on really good quality basics that you're gonna use a lot or like more interesting pieces that you can't just find anywhere so that's my best advice and do your research on good places to thrift um and also just like invest the time in thrifting because it does take more time i think because you have to like piece through everything and find what you want but in the end i think it can save you a lot of money and make your wardrobe more unique and honestly it's just fun so I would also definitely say like don't tap into your savings unless you absolutely have to. I have not tapped into my savings since moving to New York and I'm hoping to save that money for the rent or something in the future. Um, so I'm really really trying not to. Um, I mean that's just like a smart mentality to have is to save your like savings account money. Like I have a checking and then a savings which is also something I think is smart. Um, my checking is connected to my debit so like that I like tap into and then savings is like reserved for like big purchases or like big investments. Um, and my parents set that up for me so like that's I think a smart thing to do if you don't already have that but then leave that savings for um, in the future or something like big that you might need or when you don't have like a stable income or something. I think that's a smart choice. Then, just for college in general, um, do your research on book prices. I think it's really smart to buy books used on Amazon or even rent from Amazon. Usually it's a lot cheaper than going through the bookstore, even though like they want you to go through the bookstore. It's really not cheap. <laughs> and so I've saved a lot of money. I mean, I've found like $3 used books on Amazon for things I need. And luckily I don't have a ton of huge textbooks for journalism and sociology. But at least like every so often when I do have those, it doesn't break the bank because I've saved a lot of money buying used and I just highly recommend that no matter where you go, try and buy used. Um, but yeah, Amazon is a good way to go when you're buying books. So Then my other piece of advice is since you are trying to save money, it can be kind of like upsetting because you like can't go to that really expensive concert or can't buy those really cute shoes, stuff like that. But I would say like let yourself indulge in a few things. Um, some people love coffee and that's like their thing. It's going to get a cup of coffee in the morning. If that's you, like you do you. For me, it's like more the ambiance of going to coffee shops, um, but I don't actually drink coffee. I drink like tea or chai lattes or get something to eat. Um, but that's where I do like to spend more money on that because I think it's a good way to get me out of the house and I enjoy the ambiance, like I said. Um, and so that's where that's something I'm willing to spend a little bit more money on because it's more expensive than just getting a tea packet in my own house kind of thing um and then something else is investing in like really good quality makeup and that kind of thing because my skin is really sensitive so i'm willing to spend a little bit more money on that than just drugstore products that are going to make my um skin break out and that kind of thing but again i'm like picky about which things i spend extra money on because like i'm mascara drugstore mascaras are good enough so just like pick a few things to indulge in and then try and be savvy about everything else but still like let yourself have a few things that are a little bit nicer that you enjoy and are good to like keep your self care up and that kind of thing. Then another tip is just booking flights in advance. This is pretty standard, um, but if you go to college somewhere else, obviously you're going to spend a lot of money on airfare. I've had to do that. And it's always just smarter to book your flights in advance. And I think it's like Wednesdays that are the cheapest or something. Um, but yeah, just like, and also like look at different days. Certain days of the week are more expensive, like Sundays are often more expensive and Fridays. But if you find the middle of the week, it's usually cheaper. Also, I'm a big fan of Southwest. 
uh, because you can change your flights pretty easily and you don't have to pay for checked luggage. It's a really smart way to go for airfare if you're flying within the US. Um, so yeah, just like be smart about your airfare, even if you're just like traveling for a vacation and stuff, like plan it out in advance. Don't just like book it last minute unless it's an emergency or something. I think that is a good way to like save money in the long run because especially if you're going to college somewhere else, you're going to spend a lot of money on airfare. So, and then when you are living where you live, <laughs> wherever that might be, if that's New York or somewhere else, definitely take public transit. Um, I'm very thankful New York has a good public transit system. I can get almost anywhere by subway and and then there's also like the bus system. Um, I also have NYU buses that I can take for free so it's a much smarter way to go especially here in New York where traffic isn't great so I would say like limit how much you're spending a lot of money on um, transportation if you have a car then like be smart about like how much gas you're, you're spending on gas um, and when you're using your car I am a big advocate of walking if you live somewhere where you can walk because it's good exercise and it's better for the environment um, and just like minimize how much you're driving or taking cars like I will take Uber and Lyft sometimes here but even then I always take pool because it's cheaper and I try and limit how much I do that I usually only do it if it's late at night or if I need to go to the airport with my luggage so public transit is a really good way to go if you live in a city or somewhere where that is an option and then obviously we all like to have fun and do things but there's you know better ways to save your money than spending a huge amount of money on doing things um, in college that you know sometimes can be hard if some people want to go out and do things and so you know spend some money now and again but there's a lot of really great free things to do if you live in a city um, and if you're a college student so for me I love going to public parks um, that's something that like gets me out gets me outside especially in New York where everything is like concrete I love that there's so many public parks and it's a great way to just people watch read a book take some pictures listen to music just be out in nature whatever is your thing um, so I love that uh, museums are a great way to go they're often not too expensive or they're free uh, I know with my NYU ID I get into a lot of museums free so if you're a college student in a city you probably do too kind of check in on that um, um, and then I don't think this is true in other places necessarily but in New York if you're a New York or New Jersey resident I believe you get in to museums for free slash pay what you want so you can go free um, or you can just like pay a couple dollars or you can pay full price it's kind of up to you um, and so that's like another good way to go if you are like limited on money you can just pay like what you can um, and obviously going to museums is fun, so that's a great option. Um, then also like ask for college discounts places. You'd be surprised. Like sometimes they'll have it advertised, but sometimes they won't. So it can be good to ask, especially if it's someplace you frequent often. There's a coffee shop I go to that has a college discount because it's by NYU and um, some other colleges. So I just like flash my ID and get 10% off. Um, and this is like a bit more specific, but my dad is military. He's like a retired military and so I have a military ID and a lot of places have good military discounts. I've gotten into a museum free before, like it's great. Um, so just kind of like use anything like that to your advantage. Also there's lots of um, college discounts you can get online for things. Like I have a student Spotify, um, student rate for Adobe, stuff like that is a great way to save money. Um, some college things like colleges have free like words stuff like that um, so just use resources that you have while you're in college to the best of your ability because you won't be able to have them once you are a graduate um, so really use those college savings to your advantage so those are all my tips for budgeting in college um, I don't really use a formal budget but hopefully that answers your questions about how I try and save money living in an expensive place like New York and you know if you are planning on moving to the city I would definitely say save money to the best of your ability because it's not a cheap place to live but it's definitely worth it in my opinion and I hope to stay here after college so I'm really thinking about money right now as I figure out how much I'm gonna need to make rent and that kind of thing um so I'm all I'm there with you guys because money is hard but hopefully you can make it work and use some of these tips to help you so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video Honest.